Hi guys. So, uh, I haven't filmed a video in a bit and I filmed another one of this and it like, I got way too rambly for like 30 minutes and I was like, okay, let's try again. Uh, so this is filmed just spur of the moment. Not a drop of makeup. My hair isn't done. My office still has Christmas lights. I'm flying to San Francisco in like a week and I have to stay there for like a month. So, but I have to film this. I have to get it out because it's just important to me to get this done. So how to be done a copywriter, the ultimate guide. Why you should listen to me. Number one, I've been doing this for over a decade, a third of my life now. I have been writing for money and primarily copyright. I've done purely freelance copywriting since 2012. It's my job. It's my bread and butter. It's my like, life. Um, I've also done journalism. I've also done blogging, social media marketing, like all the above. Um, but it is, I've done it. Like I've been doing it. It's not like theoretical. This is my life. Um, I also have a degree in writing right there. Boom. Sits there. I, I paid, I paid a lot of money for that from the University of Colorado. Do you need one of those? No, but I'm just saying like it's there. <laughs> so, um, and on top of all that, I have nothing to sell you at the end of this. There's no like buy my copywriting course. Like maybe I'll come out with one one day for like 20, 30 bucks, like down the line when I feel like putting this all together into some like kind of coherent thoughts. But like, as of right now, this is just like us friends sitting at a table with like our coffee chatting about how to like become a copywriter. Like that's it. So I have nothing to sell you and I've been doing it for a decade. So if that's like, you know, just, I'm just saying. So let's dive in. Number one, why copywriting? I think I went into this in my last video, but if you want, if you're a person who needs like creativity, copywriting is not like creative writing. Like if you want to be creative, get into screenplay writing or writing books or blogging or other things, like copywriting is so much more like psychology and marketing and like this much creativity. Like all the creativity has to fuel sales and taking action. Because a lot of people treat copywriting like a fun, like creative project, and it's like, it's not. If, if your creativity doesn't fuel and you can't prove that this fancy, fun writing makes people grow sales, then like, it's not going to work and you have to delete it. No matter how much you love it and what you wrote, copywriting is constantly breaking your heart because you wrote a sentence that you love so much and it, you know it doesn't work and it just like kills you but you have to delete it because it's not working and you like A-B test and you prove that like it's not working. So it has to die. <laughs> so if you're cool with that, copywriting is probably your thing. Like copywriters are a lot of people who love like words. Like they are people who if you're a person who's like talking to someone and you're like oh what's that word and you're not cool with using like just a surface like general word you like want that one word that you like oh oh what is it and it means like this real and then you like go home and you look it up and you're like what was that word you're probably a copywriter just like that's how we are We're very uh when when I hear like a good word or a good phrase or something like I have notebooks full of like words I'm like oh I love that word like that's just because like the slightest word tweet in like a headline or a sentence or anything can like completely change how a page a headline does like in the copywriting world so you become obsessed with words and what they mean and copywriters are very um short to the point people if you're someone who like loves to write like really really long essays and you're very wordy that's not going to work in today's world of like super short attention spans, which is why I'm refilming this video because the other one was too long, um, you've got to get right to the point real fast in the fewest words possible. So there we go. So that's why. And then let's get into like the nitty gritty how. So these are the most common questions I get in my inbox or on the other video I filmed, etc. Number one, do you need a course? No, 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 no. Before you spend a dollar of anybody's course. Um, especially like those people who are like on a beach and it's like the ocean's in the background and they're like, oh, learn how to be a copywriter. Like, yes, you can move to a foreign country, decrease your 
cost of living extremely low I don't know they're just there's just so much scammy like BS out there and I'm like okay like <laughs> oh if they're on a beach anywhere trying to sell you a copywriting horse just in general like I'm sure that there's a good one who's like gonna hate this right now but like they're usually like they're just full of it like don't buy it especially if it's like a thousand dollars like and you're not sure if you want to do this like dear lord do not in copywriting and this is someone who like spent all their money and like a degree and all of this um copywriting is so much more trial and error just like fitness right like you don't read every book there is in the world on fitness but if you don't get in the gym and like do it like you none of it matters like copywriting is the same thing like it's just so much trial and error and especially with the internet um you didn't like test things and see if they worked and like have like affiliate links and like actually see sales which we'll dive into in a second um but here's what you if you really want to like learn um read my blog uh, no but um dan kennedy has some great books on like i mean I'm, I'm not a fan of his like his like super aggressive approach to everything but like his books are a good place to start. If you want a book, if you like, if you like books like me, you're a tangible person. You can get them for like pennies on the dollar on Amazon. So like that's like the most I would recommend you like pay. Number two, Ashley Amberger of the Middle Finger Project. Just Google that and then copywriting. She's got like hundreds of articles, and just her entire blog is fantastic. She's like the greatest copywriter in terms of like because the web is so important for like having personality now. Like the old days of like dry company cold copy is like dead in my opinion it's dead it's gone like the internet and especially millennials want like personality and like connection and like so anyway Ashley Amberger is the queen of this period end of story and then Ramit Sethi of I will teach you to be rich.com and it sounds like a super scammy website I know I I would be like what I promise you this guy's legit. He knows what he's talked about. So just Google that and then copywriting. And he's got a ton of free articles on copywriting and sales and like that kind of thing. So that's the only places I'd start. And Ash and Ramit, their content is for free. Like, faux free. <laughs> like, you can't get better than that. So that's the only place I would recommend to start. Um, I would not recommend any, I wouldn't recommend going to school for it. I wouldn't only go to school if you want to learn how to do all kinds of writing and you also want to have someone force you to hit deadlines like that is the biggest benefit of school is like uh learning how to like do all kind like magazine writing resumes um oh my god creative writing poetry business writing like I had to take all those classes and like it was fun to do all kinds of writing and be forced to hit these deadlines because like there's a lot of money on the line when you're paying five thousand dollars for a course but do I recommend that for someone who's like not like wanting to start into it no 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 back up do what I said do those three and then proceed from there so moving on do not spend money the next time question idea is uh freelancing versus the job that's up to you that's like your personality I like freelancing because I liked doing my own schedule and now I'm at a point where it's like I'm going to potentially get into like the job world because big businesses have so much more like fun and like data and like things you can play with. They have budgets to play with. They have like big. So my career is switching much more into both screenplay writing and like digital marketing than like copywriting so much. Not that it wasn't fun, not that I don't love it, not that I don't recommend it for everyone, not that I won't keep doing it for, like, ever, but, um, that's just, like, my personality, I really, so, like, that's up to you. If you want to go get a job at an agency, or you want to work for yourself, or just fit, like, copywriting in on the side around your full-time day job, like, that's, like, a personality thing, more than, like, me being able to recommend like should you get a job or freelance like that's like your decision and I think you can't turn one into the other like freelance turn into a job or like have a job and then go off and do your own thing like you do what makes sense for you um 
now let's get into like the concrete like nitty gritty like tactical now that we're like way too far into this video um how to like the real concrete things to do first of all you need a portfolio first and foremost you need a portfolio this is like the number one thing you need uh in order to start i don't care if they're blog posts uh it doesn't matter if the if the portfolio is things that you made on your own okay you don't need these don't need to be paid deals like if I wanted to sit down and like if I was starting from scratch again I would sit down and make like a theoretical portfolio and I would take like my favorite products that I know and love coffee fitness equipment um, photography maybe like things that I've like you know I know and I would write like a, either like an ad or like a sales page and I would write at the top like you can't lie and be like this is a real sales page you have to say like this is like all theoretical like oh I'm gonna write a theoretical ad for Hershey's or Lamborghini's or like whatever you care about and you know like write theoretical ones or like write blogs or just anything writing wise and this is all free you don't need to pay to do any of well okay you could maybe need to pay for a website i pay like ten dollars a month for my square pay space site but it makes me so much money that it's worth it but there's like a there's like wordpress.com which is like free like whatever you need to do for to like and this is the most time consuming part like you should spend like like a few weeks to a month like putting this together and then like Reach out to your network and see if anybody needs, like, you probably have a friend who has a business or you have a friend who has a nonprofit or you have a friend who has a blog and just be like, hey, I'm looking at the end of copywriting, can I work for you for free? It's the fastest way. Like, you're coming right out the gate and being like, pay me when I have no experience is like, it's not going to go well. You need um, work behind you testimonials preferably real ones not fake ones don't do that <laughs> I've seen that done don't do that um yeah get out there so however you want to put together your portfolio whether you have friends and you write for their business or you put it together yourself or nonprofits, or you do have some old writing work like whatever it is put it together put it all together like I think on my portfolio I still have like old like college papers like I just leave them up to be like look I've been doing this for like ever this is my major this is my life like it's all here and like I should like cut down and like really get focused on it but like for now it's working um so put that all together just having like somewhere you can send potential clients you look a hundred times more serious than like someone who's just like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like learning this. Pay me lots of money. Like you're not going to make a ton of money without like some kind of like proof that you know kind of what you're doing. Can you learn as you go? Absolutely. Can you figure it out? Can you like put these up, these portfolio pieces and delete them in like a month once you have like work that you really love and you're passionate about? hundred percent. My portfolio. I have like... I just counted the other day. I have like 800 to like 2,000 different things I've written throughout the years that like are nowhere near my portfolio. Because like either like they didn't work, I didn't like them, they're signed under like an NDA or like whatever it is. Um, they're just not up. So you can do whatever, but like you need something, something for someone to see. Yeah portfolio any kind make it up just like right at the top this is all theoretical and like hundred just like ten, like good like 10 solid pieces of content of just something you've written something you've done it helps a lot and you can publish anywhere you can publish on medium.com wordpress you can pitch a guest post to like and I know blogging and copywriting aren't the same thing, but, like, clients just want to see that, like, you can write and you can spell and you can, like, not be dumb. <laughs> Basically. They just want to know that you're, like, semi, semi, smidgen intelligent to put things together because, like, copywriting typos are very serious. And if you start putting typos in all your copy, you're going to make the company look dumb and then you look dumb and then everyone just, like, that's not good. 
Anyway, from there, do you need social media? And then from there, do you need social media or a blog? That's up to you. I did a lot, a lot. I did all of my work from social media. Literally, all of my work. And um, lots of clients from my blog because they didn't let go. I mean, I need to fix up my site. But like, ugh. It's like, it's just a living resume that's like constantly, but like, that's just my personality and I like social media and I like blogging. So like it fits well into what I do, but do you like absolutely need it? No, you just have to do more work to get clients and like pitch them. Like my blog is a 24 seven even when I'm sleeping, even when I'm on vacation, even when I'm doing whatever, like it is a constant living thing that like draws in like search engines, like a lot of people who are now on this YouTube channel for my other copywriting video, like that was like someone searching like how to be a copywriter and then like my post came up and then they went to my site and then some people signed up for my newsletter and then some people are not clients. Like I just like that. That's just how I roll. But I know a ton of people who hate blogging and hate social media and just think, like, the world's on fire. And, like, they're fine as copywriters. Like, they don't need any of it. Um, Alexandra Franzen, I think you would pronounce her name, is, like, one of them. She's, like, a writer and she doesn't do social media. She just has her, like, wonderful, lovely blog. And that's it. So you can do that. You don't need, you don't need any of it. I just like it. That's, like, a personality thing. Um... Don't mind my Christmas music. A big thing, especially, um, and I know because I've done this mistake, like, through a lot of time, is, like, putting things up and then just, like, leaving them to die. Like, I've done this way too much throughout the years, like, because I was young and busy and had a job and, like, this and that and, like, dumb excuses and, like my social media went up and then like I started and then like I stopped and I died and that doesn't look good like my Facebook page is like a desert and I should either just delete it or like update it and it looks bad because it's just dead um so if you start with one commit and keep doing it like that's just it that's the only recommendation I have if you're going to start a blog or social media like keep it up that's all start with one keep it up move on from there um, uh, let's see. Okay. The different types of copy. Now this is like totally up to you what you like. I write for the web. So like I do landing pages, sales pages, home pages, like website copy. A lot also, well, a little bit of, uh, email copywriting, which is like a similar feel, um, that kind of thing. But there's like a million ways you can do like direct response um in the mail like print advertisements like there's like a hundred million forms of like copywriting it just depends on what you like I like web copy too because like it was the easiest to get into just starting out because like diving straight into like print ads when you have like when you're not working for a business when you're not you don't have money to like send some out and test them like it was just the fastest free way to get into writing copy. Like if I was starting out, I would probably start with like home pages and make that like my bread and butter because they're very simple. Like write what the business does, get right to the point in the first few sentences, don't make it fancy. Boom. And most home pages on most websites are the worst. So <laughs> you could easily start with that being your bread and butter and start emailing businesses like hi. I am a copywriter. I specialize in home pages. Um, here's an idea I have for your site. That's like the best way to pitch. Like, if you are gonna do freelance versus a job, you have to learn the business side of everything. You have to know how to sell yourself. You have to learn how to pitch. You have to learn how to um, talk to clients, network, that kind of thing. Like the nice part about like a job is like they do all of that and you just get to write all day. But you made more money doing it freelance because you can charge way more than like your set hourly rate. But that's another talk for like another time. If you want that video, like I can give you that video. But like, um, yeah, 
And then, like, specialty versus, like, general copy. Like, that's another thing. It's up to you. You'd have made way more money being a specialty copywriter. Like, if you were just medical supply copywriter, like, you can make way more money. And then you also know where, like, your clients are. That's, like, the one nice thing about getting, like, very specific about what type of copy you do and, like, what area. Um... Like, that's the one nice thing. Like, if you did, like, only food, like, you could, you know where they all are. You know where foodies hang out. You know where, you know all the networking events for, like, food-related things. You know. But then, like, that's up to you. Like, I never really, really, really got specialized because I am much more of a person that, like, I only worked with a certain type of client someone who's really nice, someone who uh, is at least like a few years into business, made at least $80,000 or above. Um, generally, it's about like 80000 or more. If you're a brand new business, usually you don't have the budget for a good copywriter. So like I, I worked for like a certain personality. Like I am a person that like I would rather work with people that I like to work with and that's like what I specialize in much more than like a certain area. Like that's just me. I like to have my days be like chill and cool and calm. Not like, not that I don't work hard, but like I like client interactions to be nice and smooth and friendly. Like I rarely, rarely have client problems because I am much more picky about like the type of client I work with than like what they specialize in. Now through the years, the most I've done is like, SEO businesses, fitness, and like business coaches because that's like, I just know those people. But whatever you want. If you love fashion, become a fashion copywriter. If you love cars, you can become, oh man, I mean, you usually have to go work for them or an agency that like, but is it possible to like sneak your way in? Absolutely. Um, Okay, this got really, really rambly, but, um, okay, I talked a lot, um, but the point is, the tactical roundup. Um, if you really want to start as a copywriter, what, set a deadline, you have one month to put together your portfolio, put it together, and that's, like, a really long stretch of time, like, if you have some work, or you have a friend who owns a business, like, you could get this together in, like, two weeks and the biggest thing is for starting your portfolio if you write copy and you get it up on the site take a screenshot do not put a link because a lot of businesses will either like shut down because they're not managed well they will change the copy eventually like as we all do they will for a million reasons screenshots screenshot it so you have that picture forever that's my portfolio. It's like all pictures and like is all the copy on all of them different at like this point? Probably. Like, or they stop selling that service or they, you know, stop selling that product or they switch like whatever. Screenshot it. So you have it forever once it's up and live. Okay. Anyway, that's just a side note. Um, portfolio. If you want to blog, start blogging. Just start. Medium.com for free. Sign up. Boom. You now have a blog. Um, uh, put that together and then start learning how if you want a job start putting together like your resume pitching you know ad agencies that kind of thing if you want to go freelance reach out to your network who has a business who has a nonprofit who knows someone with a business or a nonprofit does your best friends does your best friend's mom have a business? Like, whatever it is, just start reaching out to people. Tell them you're gaining interest in copywriting and you want to, like, do some projects for them. Start low. I mean, you didn't come out the gate. Like, I I would not come out the gate starting to demand, like, four or five figures for a project when you don't know what you're doing and you don't have any numbers to back that up. Um, the biggest thing you want to start tracking when you can, when businesses let you, um, is conversion rate. You want to start measuring like, okay, how did this page do before I wrote it? 
Okay, it had like a 1% conversion rate. And then I wrote it and now it's at like 3% conversion rate, which is like an extremely, that's a good jump for like a high traffic site. I'm just saying like copywriting conversion rates are not always high. Keep that in mind. Depending on the, t anyway, um, lots of like things to that. Uh, yeah. So start networking. So start networking, have your portfolio, put together a general pitch. Mine, uh, back when I had, my general pitch is like, okay, hi, here's who I am. <laughs> here's why I'm reaching out to you. Here's a, here's what will like hook, line, and sync a lot of pitches that a lot of people don't do is like, here is my first suggestion for how to fix this like thing. Like if I was pitching like a landing page and like fixing it, I'd be like, here's what I think like could help a lot and here's why. And like boom, boom. And it's like, they can use it and they did not pay me and they can just switch it and like my loss. But a lot of them, once they get like a little taste of like what you can do for them, they're like, oh wait, whoa, 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 wait, where are you doing? I want to pay you more money to like fix everything else in my sales funnel that's like broken basically but don't be rude okay when I say that like I get emails from like web designers who are like your site looks like shit I can fix it and I'm like first off fuck you like I'm not gonna hire you because you just insulted like don't insult them to pitch them you know what I mean like don't be offensive your copywriting's the worst. No one would buy from you. You're, uh, you should just shut down your business. But I can help. Like, don't be a rude. Don't be rude. That's just, you'll never, be charming. This is the whole point of copywriting. Like, a lot of really good copywriters are very successful on sites like Tinder, where it's like talking to someone to, like, date them. Like, charm. Charm is your friend, okay? Um, yeah, so, like, what I would do how I would fix it um and then like just contact me like if you if this is something you want then like let's talk let's stay on the phone let's like go out for coffee like whatever it is however close or far you are just that's it like keep it short simple to the point here's who I am my experience here's what I here's like concrete tactical steps contact me like that's it that's all like that's all you need to do. You could probably send out like hundreds, if not thousands of told, but like calm down, get really specific. Don't like do that many because then you let spammy and Gmail hates it. Um, but like get really focused and then, and that's it. Like don't overthink it. This is not complicated. And then like, as you go, you will learn like, what I know now compared to what I knew back then is like so much more. And the only way, I could have learned all that is through the work. Like there is no other way I could have learned that. There's no book I could have read. There's no course I could have taken. There's no blog I could have read. There's no anything I could have studied to learn copywriting. Okay. So like if you're in the beginning stages, just accept that. Just accept that there's no course out there. There's no, just like the same metaphor of like getting in shape like there's no book you can read that will give you abs there's no such thing you have to do it that is it that is like the biggest thing reach out to businesses businesses need copy oh and one last tactical like if you really 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 want to get started and like businesses are being slow like you can start an affiliate blog go to amazon.com sign up for the affiliate program um, or like there's like hundreds of thousands of others of like affiliate programs where you earn a kit back if you sell something. Um, so you can start writing blogs, writing sales pages, writing copy, and actually go in to Amazon and see the analytics. Like, does, am I getting clicks? Is this, are people buying? Like that is actual concrete numbers. And then like when something does well, like go back and be like, oh my dad, why? Okay, what about this versus this versus this versus this made people take action and buy? And then like whatever you think it is, duplicate it. And then if that doesn't work, go back. And then figure it out and then duplicate that again. And then like 
keep just tweak like that is like a real concrete way and you earn extra money it's not like a boatload of money sometimes to, I mean Amazon's like kid bed rate is like abysmal but that is a way that like you can like actually like concrete get your hands on data and information of like what works conversion rate um that kind of thing like that is ba that is if you really want to just dive in nitty gritty get the details get the data like that is the best place that I would recommend you to start you know selling selling things where you can see the back end data and then analyze it that's it okay okay uh Okay, I think I'm going to cut some of this out, but like as of now, I'm at 30 minutes. So that is it. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments. I will attempt to timestamp this whole video so you can like find the like important parts that matter. And I will try and leave all the links to everyone I mentioned in the comments below. But that is it. Um, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's enough talking for me. All right.